everyone and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League Season 2022 Mid-Season Event. I'm Ryan. I'm Jay. And so in this episode we have Goldo's adv Gardening Adventure uh, where we're going to have our final four teams take on Goldo and the Cybermen. So a little uh, background, Goldo taking a nice sabbatical, has taken up horticulture, grown Cybermen on planet Namek, and has really gotten some decent ones. And, like, one of them is, like, scarily decent. <laughs> and so each team ends up uh, sending out one character to fight two Cybermen and a Goldo. And so we only have four matches left. And our first match is going to be uh, Resurrected Warriors with Majub. Majub is rocking Eternal Life, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, and Sirius with Shouts AI. Apparently no Blue Patara. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting build. I For some reason, I thought maybe I read that off wrong, but yeah. Nope, he, he's the only character without a blue. And as mentioned in previous episodes, the Cybermen have Ultra Divine Water, so they have plus one every stat, but... They take 10,000 points off their max health. Yeah. So, it honestly, it's an interesting Patara. Not too many characters have gotten it to work, but it has been working for Cyberman 2 today. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know why specifically Cyberman number 2, um, but he has been working. Cyberman, don't explode now. Like, that'd just be insane. Okay, now you can explode. That. It would still be a bit insane, but it would be funny. Oh, that nice oh, health, health pushback. Push He's got eternal life. He can deal with that. Yeah, that's fine. High speed. High speed oh, he backed up. That is the like the weirdest and most janky looking animation to me. It's like, oh no, you can't hit me because you I can't hit me because I backed up, even though you were right in front of me. Even though you were dashing at me, me backing up stopped you. You're like, oh shit, he's not exactly where he was. <laughs> and that might be it for Cyberman 1. And we're getting Goldo in early. Uh, and so Goldo, Goldo, yeah, Goldo's on Ultimate Warrior 1, which is the same effect as Ultra Divine Water, but does not take away the health. Yeah, so similar levels of damage, but more health which is never a bad thing. rock psychic rock throw all right oh he's nope. gonna continue to go up no no he tried though honestly not going to max power would probably be a benefit because we all know how bad lightning arrow is but lightning arrow might end up being the rainstorm that cyberman needs <laughs> fair enough high speed clash uh, high speed clash. golden wins it Ooh. Ooh. but misses the volley yeah, almost a nice combo there. Yep, there it is. Will Does that work? Uh, no. <laughs> Zero points of damage for the ult. Rock missed. Another rock. So Majub has the chat is voted two KOs, forty six percent of chat think that is going to be the case. 38% say 1 KO, 15% say a full speed, and nobody thought there was going to be 0 KO, so... Yeah, it's uh, Majub. That is correct. It's Majub. If Majub didn't get a single KO, I'd be very shocked. Yeah, it, it, it is unlikely. Man, look at that. That's a normal grab damage with on uh, Sirius, and it was like 1,500 points. Jeez. I, I, I'm not really sure what to make of this, to be honest. It's kind of weird right now. It, it is. Majub has the massive healing, but he still has five bars to get through. And he's just not spamming as much as I think he wants to be. And if he is, he's missing everything. Oh, yeah. Still in animation because the beams were going. They were a trucking. I think this might be it. Yeah, yeah five bars for uh, uh, for Majum. Not the greatest, but definitely not the worst. Uh, that was save slot four, so we go save slot five now. In which next match we have Royals with King Vegeta. 
King Vegeta rocking defense plus two, attack minus one, indignation, fighting spirit, eternal life, and TNAI. Man, with only three matches left, it looks like Team Gohan might be the only victor today. Don't count out the king. See, you know what I'm doing? I'm setting up the commentator's curse in a positive way. So if I say nobody's going to win, then commentator's curse activates and somebody wins. It's I think... I don't know if I've ever heard that. Like, I didn't catch the tail end of it. But I think that may have been, like, some sort of custom dialogue for King Vegeta. Really? I mean, so like Nappa, you know, Nappa brought the Cybermen in which Scouter Vegeta knows about Cybermen. So yeah. it would make sense that King Vegeta would know about them. What did he say? I, I, mean, I, I, I couldn't really make it out, but it wasn't anything that I've really heard from King Vegeta before. And he takes a full power energy beam to the face, but does not execute anyone. Power energy wave again misses. So we could see an eight here. Yes, because he does not need the moon. And I think, like, the ape might be a very big benefactor. I, against the Cybermen, I don't know how much it's going to help against Goldo. Well, I mean, we... I know Goldo probably can't break Power Body, but oh. he does have B2s. He does have, he does have decent B2s, but, uh... Yeah, he it would stop Goldo's melee. And we've seen what a menace King Vegeta is on, in his ape form, so... Yeah. So, uh, it sounds like somebody's saying in chat, I won't go easy on you, you piece of garbage. That's what he said. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever heard King Vegeta say that. That's the thing. So I don't know if it is like a slight custom or if it is just a very rare instance of dialogue but wow look at king vegeta go now well he's already yeah, taken half vegeta, health yeah he's not doing too hot it looks like he's going the way of Mo oh no oh. that's even worse i i guess that's a good thing to do to cyberman too Ooh, king of saiyans does not get off he's around the health to transform and he has full blast stocks yeah he absolutely he has the amount of blast stocks needed but will he I really hope so. It might be the uh, saving grace for him. By the way, chat has voted. 38% think 1 KO, 38% think 2 KOs, 23% say full sweep, 0% say 0 KO. All right, I'm expecting a transformation now. I would assume so. He seems to like doing it. There it is. Though. Speak and you shall receive. Now let's see if this actually does help. How come he doesn't get to keep his cape with the H? Uh, because capes get in the way of giant monkeys. Yep, see, high-speed rush won't work against a big ape. Super explosive wave doing a ton of damage. 12,000 I saw. Yes. Yeah, so see. This should be end of Cyberman number two. Yeah. Yep. And with that healing in ape form, like, this can definitely end up being uh, what they need. Yeah, especially with just those B2s and their strength uh, on this last bar, specifically with the indignation stacks. Uh, he could definitely do some work here. Energy Blast Volley, he does take a bit of damage there. Super Gallic Gun would not hit, I don't think. No. Unless he flies into it. Okay. Yeah, just Goldo's melee is just nullified. Yeah, nullified by the uh, healing, essentially. The Rush Blast, though, those can do some damage. But, I mean, he's yeah, got it. I mean, Look at the health gain compared to the damage that Goldo's doing. Right. And he is just able to do kind of whatever he wants. Oh, to there you go. Paralysis. Hey, he's going he's gonna to chop at the ankle. <laughs> go for the ankles, Goldo. Go for the Achilles tendon. <laughs> Oh, that's a max power mode. Super Gallic Gun. Misses. No. Fighting pose. Uh-oh. Time stop shouldn't work on him, right? Because it's a... Uh, right? yeah, because it's essentially skewer. It's not a grab. It's not a rush. So I think it would work. 
Okay, it might look janky, I assume, with the... Oh, Ooh, dodge. It would, it would probably look pretty janky, but... You know, uh, King Vegeta has basically been at that exact same health through the entire fight with Goldell. So, everybody said, like, the Cape Wind Stick... If he can make a whole armor in boots and glove stick, I feel like the cape is not the most unrealistic part of that. They like, both have a charge penalty, pass, Jesus. Yeah, I don't. I think this is it for. Well, Vegeta. or just a tiny cape. That's fine. Oh, Golden didn't get. Okay, Golden didn't get hit by the first grab, but this grab should hurt. Yeah, and it also buys him some time. Oh, how it gets off. Yeah, and way? that's going to do a lot. 13,000. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be enough time for him to heal up. No, I don't Who think he's going to have this? enough health. So oh. this will be it for Goldo, but he has so little health against the um, second Cyberman. Yes. Or no, this is first mm -hmm. Cyberman. It's the first Cyberman, he has a shot. All right, you just need to okay. full, do an energy wave, buddy. Yeah, just anything. Oh my god. There you oh, go. Okay, this might be it. Uh, yeah, no. that's it. <laughs> Nine good bars, idea. though. Nine bars by King nine Vegeta. Bars. Very good job. Is it 9.5 considering the original amount of damage he did? Nope, uh, because nope. Any, okay. anything that was on damage before a tag essentially gets eliminated. God. So. And yeah. you know what? Great try. I mean, that's about as close as you can get. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I think it's this save slot now for the Rugrats, who have Goten. Goten. Super Saiyan, to be exact. Attack plus two, defense minus one, serious fighting spirit, indignation, light body, dende ceiling, and piccolo AI. I think he could do it, honestly. We've seen a lot of success with the melee builds. Um, I mean, granted, that is very subjective because sometimes they do terrible too but i think that you <laughs> could do it well so far i think our top three have been b2 bills so i thought that uh yeah you are right team gohan did win with a b2 build but then king vegeta was essentially on a defense b2 build yeah but uh wow goten has done nothing and has taken a bar yeah well I, I sit here corrected. Will we? S I would like to see a revert because that would be kind of cool. A revert, interesting. Yeah, get some different B twos out there for Goten. Maybe that'll end up like helping him somehow. Yeah. But uh, he he's knows. not doing great. <laughs> but also, King Vegeta didn't do great against First Cyberman either, and he brought that back. Granted, <laughs> Goten point. does not have ape form. Yeah, that is true. Goten does not have ape form. Which is sad. God, that char I love that charge rate on Cyberman underwater. It's nuts. False courage. Alright, you're under a bar, Cyberman. Explode. Explode. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, but Goten had the false courage active. Yeah. And, oh, just so close. Don't let him tag. That's been a killer. Acid. Ex oh, he ran out of the max power mode. All right. He takes out a character and is done and has taken half of health. Illegal tag. Illegal tag. Missed. Oh, wow. That is such a man. quick fire one, too. He was moving, like, frame one as soon as he tagged in. High speed rush. I think Cyberman will win this. There it is. Yes. Full power energy wave. Very good combo. Oh. This is why Simon Man 50. 2 is a mess. <laughs> yeah. 52% of chat said 1KO, which is looking pretty likely. Full sweep, 29%. I don't think that's Two happening. 2 KOs, 11%. 0 KOs, 5%. So I think one person voted for 0. I think that was funny. But yeah, it's looking like a 1-er. So that looks like 3.5. <laughs> <laughs> Goten said, Al, you big meanie. Goten, he's the same size as you. <laughs> All right, big, our, big in personality. You know? Our final match tonight is Saiyaman. 
Sega Man with defense plus two, latent energy, Dende's healing, power of rage, and Piccolo AI. The hero of justice can do this. <laughs> we will see. And he's in his OG costume with the helmet. That could be that could be the difference maker. Here yeah, the helmet, you yeah, know? If only Cybermen knew Solar Flare. <laughs> It protects him from concussions, you know? Uh, and I guess if uh, acid were to get spit on it, it would just go down the visor rather than go in his eyes. So, I mean, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> and if we count hair as a part of height, then Goten is definitely taller than Cyberman. But <laughs> I don't know if we count hair. Um, I think we do. All right. Say a man struggling a little bit? Uh, yeah, a little struggle against Cyberman 1. Um, but, you know, it it is very well possible. Not the best lead, not the worst. You know, that's what we yeah. can always say. Not the best, not the worst. Um, looking like he's going to take out Cyberman here with a nice little... Uh, I thought he was yeah, it, oh, Justice Finishing Pose. Uh, but he gave... Oh... No? So, no, Cyberman's up. Oh my god, yes! No! No! He went for it! The last match he went for it. I won! He was trying to leave it out all in the field, Ryan. Uh, he after imaged one of the blasts. Wow, that would have been pretty amazing for the last match. High speed rush blocked. Almost stunned. Yeah, almost got a free uh, guard break there, but uh, I was hoping to see a beautiful explosion to end off the stream. Yeah. Oh my god, that charge rate, though. Yeah, but he could just finish in pose. It's fine. Energy wave! Wrong Ooh, pose! Wrong time, pose. wrong time and wrong pose. Has been Clash. Should win this. Yep, he has Power of Rage, so he should win every Clash, unless there's a B2-like advantage. Wow, and everybody's going for it in this last match. 42% of people think full sweep. 28% say 1 KO, 28% say 2 KO, 0% say 0 KO. So everybody's hoping he gets something. Justice, Justice Pose 1, he gets basically his high tension. High speed rush. Uh, Could go either way. Cyberman st or Cyberman it. still loses it, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, that was a. I love that animation of that little diving kick that he does. Yeah, the tornado kick. It's amazing. Yeah, he's looking good. Uh, Just one more hit. Oh. Oh no, no bomb! Damn it. <laughs> Wastes a little bit of key. Could have used that on Goldo, but he's out of there. So he has for sure two KOs. About half health. This is not looking too bad. No, this is looking really good. You know, I, I am surprised that out of 32 Cybermen, sorry, 31 Cybermen, we've only seen one attempt at the explosion. And it missed. That's, that's a three per, like a 3% chance that they'll do an explosion. Yeah. Because all of them got, well, I love mean, <laughs> oh, that animation. And go, uh, Cy Cyberman got some free damage off of that, too. That was... I love Goldo's spin, too, because he was, like, spinning on his belly. <laughs> not looking good anymore. I, I thought it was looking good. It's not anymore. He needs he needs to throw him away and then do the uh, pose. Yeah, he needs Key to do some B2s, but he's just Rock. Like, too close. This might be it. Uh, well, don't chase after him, Saya, man. Go Goldo. It's, Goldo. It's... I understand you're trying to climb the rock formation, but... <laughs> That's it. Uh, it, so that, all, it came down to charge rate. Yeah, seven bars for say a man. So not a bad performance at all. Uh, so yeah, that is um, it for this episode. Small recap for the four matches that we have. Uh, what were the totals? Majub ended up with 5.1 bars out of 10. King Vegeta ended up with nine bars out of 10. Goten with three. 0.5 bars out of 10 and it looked like cyberman ended up with like seven yeah about seven out of 10 so uh yeah. that is it for goldo's gardening adventure but
Next week, we are going to have something new, which is called the Survivor Series. So, uh, the 16 teams will uh, be submitting a character to fight one of two characters. One of the characters is Herc's Heavyweight Bout. They will be fighting a Hercule on an extremely powerful build. Uh, the second one is Birder's uh, Cruiserweight Chase Down, where uh, they will be fighting Birder on an insane build. Um, like Birder is Birder, like physically will not take damage. Herc physically will not be able to be moved. Uh, so like that's a mechanic as part of it. We will also then also have uh, the the All Star match where we'll have the ten people that people voted on uh, split into two teams and they'll be fighting each other. Um, it's going to be an insane, uh, insane off season event next week, uh, in which just as a uh, small little like teaser. Uh, Hercule will have Ultimate Warrior 4, so that's a plus 4 to every stat. Birder will have something known as uh, Extreme Defense, which is a massive amount of defense, and his speed is up, so he truly is the fastest in the universe. So, if you're interested in that, make sure to tune in next week. Check out the links in the description for our Discord, our website, our TikTok, our Twitter, and anything else that we end up having. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And until the next off-season event, or mid-season event, which is next week, I've been Ryan. I've been Jay. And we will see you next time. All right. Thank you very much for watching. That was a very fun match. Uh, very fun little off-season event. One uh, winner, so congratulations to Hybrids. Great job to everyone, uh, except Muscle. God, we are horrible. But uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.